So here I have a simple loop that prints the number and sleep for one second and repeat until five. Then you can pass in this loop together with the bash and the C flag inside the list. Then you can pass in options. So some of the options you can pass in is a function callback to events. So with the key on underscore std out, this gets called when the job emits any output. So the function receives the job ID, the output, in this case where it's being echoed out, and the event will be a string value to differentiate between standard output or standard error or standard input. It is used when you're using one function for all three scenarios. First, let's just echo out the data the function receives. So when we run it, it seems that it receives the output with the empty string in the list. And the last one being just the empty string. So we can clean that up a bit to make it look nicer. Now it only displays the output. We can also attach a function for when the job exits with the key on underscore exit. Now we can see exited once the job is finished. We can also make it write to the buffer using the append function. You can use a line function with a dollar sign to get the last line number of the buffer. When we run it, you can see it is right into this buffer and while all that is happening, you can still move around the cursor.